Hi, good morning, uh, you beautiful saints of the Most High God, my fellow brethren and soon-to-be rapture saints of the Most High God. It is officially July 25th of 2016. Um, I have something encouraging to tell you, and then also uh, my thoughts on a certain matter that need to be addressed. Um, very important biblical matters that need to be addressed. Number one, for a little bit of encouragement, um, I've been through um, a severe attack for standing of, up for the truth uh, within the last day or two. Um, the enemy hates the truth. The enemy, Satan, hates the truth of a pre-trib rapture and is out to seek and uh, attack the truth of the pre-trib rapture with fierceness. So anyway, I'm going to talk to you in a minute about this. The first thing I want to say is through the uh, spiritual and biblical attack that I've been under the last couple of days, um, right before I woke up this morning, Jesus appeared in my dream, and I, uh, he appeared to me. Um, he was wearing all white. He appeared. I couldn't see his face, but Jesus appeared to me. But he was clothed in bright light. All I could see, he was wearing all white, and his body was super bright. Um, Jesus is sweet and kind to let me know, as he always says, that I'll never leave or forsake you, Cheryl. But I just want to let you know, um, I don't know if it's just a personal thing to me to let me know. He's with me. He's always going to stick with me. And he, I think that he is happy when his people... Uh, stick with the, his words. The Bible is the words of Jesus. The The word of God became flesh and dwelt among us in the book of John. So uh, in words of Kerman, I think that uh, the season is still here for his soon return. And uh, Jesus is so kind and so sweet. He is faithful to us. Um, and he loves it when we stick to his word. Again, in the book of John, it says, He is the word of God who became flesh and dwelt among us. Um, let it be on record. Anybody that knows Sister Cheryl knows that I am a staunch pre-tribber. Okay. I've been a Christian for over 40 years. I'm not going to say my age. <laughs> anyway, I'm a woman. Uh, anyway, I've been a Christian over 40, 40 plus years. Um, as far as the end times and the rapture, um, just a little history about me. Uh, I am married now, but when I was single, the Lord, and I lived in Florida, I live in California now, the Lord put a great desire for end times and Bible prophecy. Um, a good 15 years ago, there wasn't nearly the amount of talk about the rapture as it is now. Uh, when the Lord revealed to me the truth of the rapture, he taught me um, through Hal Lindsey and uh, Perry Stone and other uh, well-respected David Hawking, well-respected Bible prophecy preachers. Um, they're all pre-trib. From the very beginning, when the Lord was teaching me about the rapture and end times, he gave me the hope and the surety that the rapture is pre-trib. He gave me the hope and security biblically. He sent me to about eight. Uh, I went to the International Bible Prophecy Conferences. Um, about seven or eight in a row. They were held uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida by Dr. Joe Vancouvering. Um, I was able to meet all the many Bible prophecy uh, preachers. I was able to meet Hal Lindsey, Perry Stone, Dr. David Reagan. Uh, I was able to meet Dr. D Ed Heinsen. Um, Wally Shobot uh, taught one day. Uh, Tim LaHaye taught, who wrote the Left Behind series. I'm not saying these are all perfect men. There is no perfect person except for Jesus. However, the Lord drilled into me that there is an escape the, there is a pre-trib rapture escape for Revelation 3.10 for those who are sealed by the Holy Spirit. I am one of the few non-condemning 
people on YouTube, if you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, Jesus has made a promise. He's put his spirit in you. You are now part of the body of Christ and shall be raptured. It's not based on your perfect behavior. It's based on, are you sealed with the Holy Spirit? Are you Then you are a child of the Most High God. And as a child, Father God will not unadopt you out of the family. So therefore, my, my, uh, my, what Jesus has taught, he's been taught, teaching me so many things for the last 15 years. And as he got my desire and interest in the end times, the rapture, uh, he's taught me for 15 years, the church will be removed before any seals are opened. Now, um, I do have a word from the Lord from you for you. Well, this is my word from the Lord. My word from the Lord comes right here. Sure, yeah, I know that the Lord speaks in dreams and visions, but if you're watching anybody on YouTube, please make sure it lines up with this. If you get words from the Lord, make sure the words line up with the Holy Bible of God, for you will be judged by the words in the Bible, not by what a supposed prophet or anyone on YouTube will say. I want to bring up the issue that I've come under attack for, and that has to do with, have the seals been broken? Where do we sit in time? Has Jesus already started breaking seals and just forgot about it and left us here? No. As Jesus Christ is my witness, I'll stand in front of him on Judgment Day, knowing that I'm telling you the truth. No seals have been broken. And I'm going to show you, biblically, I'm going to read some verses in the book of Revelation to prove to you. And I'm going to, I'm going to ask you a question, and you tell me, has this occurred in the world right now? Okay? Some people say, oh, we're at the fifth seal. Okay? I'm going to ask you a question from the Word of God. Because it doesn't matter what Sister Cheryl says. I'm not anybody. I don't want to be anybody. I don't want to give myself a label. I'm not a prophet. I'm not an apostle. I am nothing. I am simply a child of the Most High God. That's all that I am. I'm going to ask you a question. And I'm going to got my glasses on so I can read. Because <laughs> I'm getting old. Revelation. I'm going to read a verse for you. A couple of verses in Revelation. And I'm going to ask you. Has this occurred? Okay. Since someone said, or people are saying error, that God tell them that seals have been broken, seals have been opened. Why hasn't there been a rapture? Okay. You tell me, has this happened? Revelation 6 3 says, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. Revelation 6, 4 says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Revelation 6, 5. When he had opened the third seal, I heard him, the third beast say, Come and see. I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. I heard, Revelation 6, 6, I heard a voice in the midst of the fourth beast say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and wine. Revelation 6, 7. When he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. I looked, and behold, a pale horse. His name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. Power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. Okay. Rebel, so the, I just read to you some of the seals being opened and what happens. Revelation 6, 8 says clearly, one quarter of the whole earth 
should be dead right now. If this seal has been opened, we should have just noticed 25% uh, of the earth dead. One sharp lady on my video I did yesterday, I'm going to read to you what she said. I'm going to give her a shout out. Her, her YouTube name is Camille3622, and her name is Susan. And I'm going to read this to you. When people start teaching unbiblical nonsense, Thank you so much, Sister Cheryl, for this post. It is deeply troubling to me that fellow Christians could possibly believe that five seals have already been opened when Revelation 6-8 clearly states that after the fourth seal is open, one quarter of the Earth's population will die. The current world population is 7.4 billion people. That is, There is absolutely no way that we have missed the death of 1.85 billion people that somehow that has escaped our notice thank you cheryl for defending the truth love in christ susan my shout out is to you susan you are my kind of gal you are a berean i love that you read the bible and study to make sure these things are so <laughs> anyway the bottom line is I am so passionate for the truth. I've lost many friends when I have talked to them about truth or share with them someone who teaches unbiblical biblical nonsense. I lose many friends, and this is just, just part of what I have to do. Those who are truly Abraeans, who stick with the Word of God, those are the people who I want to follow. Uh, I would recommend listening to um, David Hawking, Robert Breaker, I would, I would recommend listening to Informed Christians. Um, his video he did today is very encouraging. He doesn't listen to dreams, visions, or words from the Lord. We have our word from the Lord right here. This is our word from the Lord. This is all we really need. And as I was talking to uh, my my best friend, I had don't really hear any new words from the Lord. The Bible is complete. I already know earthquakes are coming, tsunamis are coming. I already know there's major devastation on the rapture day. I am here as a pre-trib rapture encourager to give you hope, to give you truth. That you, we are not in the tribulation. No seals have been opened. I just read to you why it's biblically impossible that any seals have been opened. We go around Revelation 4.1. Okay? The Lord showed me years ago. In Revelation 4, 4, the 24 elders are seated in heaven. The 24 elders are wearing white raiment, which represents salvation. They are wearing gold crowns on their head, meaning they have been to the judgment seat of Christ. 24 elders represent the saints. Angels don't earn crowns. The saints earn crowns. It's all through the Bible about the crowns that we may earn. There's a crown of righteousness at stake for those who love his appearing. They, you're not, and you're looking for Jesus Christ, not the Antichrist. If the seals are broken. Where's the Antichrist in power? Where's the one quarter of the earth's population that has died? Where's mass devastation and hunger? And it's just biblically impossible and it's nonsense. And I have to address this because I seek to be a Berean. I am a pre staunch pre tribber and I will stick, I will defend the pre-trib rapture. It is under severe attack like none other. The devil says, now the Roman Catholics believe in a pre-trib rapture, a post-trib rapture. I will staunchly defend the pre-trib rapture and show the, and give people faith and hope that the Lord will take us up before he breaks any seals. It's in the book. We are, we, the church is pictured already in Revelation 5. We're singing a new song to the Lord in Revelation 5. Be a Berean. Study the, study the approved Bible prophecy preachers. David Hawking. There are plenty 